see this shield? Inside is like a speedometer cable, but much thicker. And you know how a speedometer cable works. It just winds around. So you've got a hydraulic motor that spins this one piece cable that goes all the way around and there's a translation uh, with a set of gears in here to spin this shaft. That worm gear pushes this fan duct out at four points. So the fan duct goes back and comes forward. When it goes back, it exposes these louvers, these um, what we call cascade vanes. That diverts the air 30 degrees to the side forward at much higher velocity than it's being ingested. That's the velocity that gives you the th uh, thrust. I used to wonder when I was young and didn't understand the physics, well, if you're sucking the air in and blowing it back, you're not even blowing it directly forward. They're blowing it in angles. That's even less efficient. How do they get reverse thrust against the velocity? And this BMW is really stop the gearing. It's to slow it down. It's a thrust reverser. Some people actually think the fan turns the other way. Never. Yeah, no. It does. It, it, the engine won't run the other way. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't divert the exhaust at all. It's just they used to. They used to on these early versions of this engine. Now let's see if this one had it. Yeah. <laughs> this one never had. Yeah, it did. <laughs> what do you know? See these? See these three screws here? That's where the locker door links were. The link rods. I'll show you what that is. I never understand that one. See this? The anchor points for these link rods. They had similar link rods. That's called a core reverser. But that gas is so hot and so nasty, it cooked the hydraulic fluid in there and things would burn up, gum up. The maintenance was a hassle. And they figured the amount of thrust reversing we get out of that isn't really, it's not that economical. We'd rather wear out the brakes on the wheels a little bit more and not have to deal with that. So they deactivated those. What they did at United Airlines with their old ones, they took the link rods out and just put the fasteners back in so that the nuts aren't rattling in there. And then they took the uh, blocker doors and welded them. They literally welded them. Now this duct was manufactured without the blocker doors. But the core at one time had link rod anchor points. Yeah, just breaking the car like, you know, just trying to do something, anything. In your presentation,